now we're going to talk about grading the students so it's like assigning a total percentage based on the assignments tests quizzes project whatever you give to the student for this if you look at your grade book as of now you can see these are your four students and it shows you a class average as of now it does not show any grade now what i'm going to do is uh, this was a test which was evaluated the assignment one was evaluated i'm just going to give some random marks to the second assignment so let's say i mark the student 90 marks and here i'm going to click on return now this particular student has got 3 out of 5 in the first test, 90 out of 100 in the assignment 2, and 15 out of 20 in the third, in the first assignment, assignment 1. Now, if I want to see a grade for the students on the basis of these marks, what needs to be done is you have to make some modifications in the settings. For that, what we need to do is we have to click on this particular icon here, which is the settings icon. Now, once you do that, you will have to go to the grading part. Now, in grading, you will be able to see there are two things. One, how should the grade be calculated? Second, grade categories. Now, as of now, what we're going to talk about is how the grade should be calculated. So the first thing is overall grade calculation. Now here, if you see, there are three options. First is no overall grade, which is by default, which as you can see now, there is no overall grade, which is displayed. The second is total points. So what this is going to do is this is just going to total it up and show you the percentage. So let's try to choose this particular option and see how it works. So I'm going to click on total points. Once you do that, there is the next thing it says show overall grade to students. So if you also want your students to see their overall grade, then you select this. Now, once this is done, we click on save so now what we are saying is that i want to see the overall grade of the student based on the total points now once this is saved it will try to calculate the total points for each student and as of now you can see that since there is just one student for whom we have assigned marks you'll be able to see that this student scored 86.4 percent by just summing up this and calculating the percentage for the others it shows as no grade because for the others there were no submissions and the class average also re also reflects on the basis of this so this is about the total points part now let's try to see the student section and let's see if the student can also see his or her grade. So this is the student. And if I click on classwork, you can see in view your work that the grade is shown right here. Just with the name and profile of the student so now the student can also see how he has been graded now getting back to the second option so again if i go to settings there is another option which talks about weighted by category now this is like let's say you have two or three categories. You have a test, you have an assignment, you have a project, and you would cal try to calculate the total grade based on these categories. So you may want to weigh the project higher or the test higher, and corresponding to the weights, the total grade will be calculated. In the next, we'll see how weighted by category works.